Hello, Deck It Out DIYers. Welcome to your 2023 Gnome of the Month box. This month or this year, we're doing something a little bit different with our gnomes. You will see that I have part one of this box because in this box for January, you have two parts. So this is part one. This is your gnome that will be your gnome throughout the 12 months of this year, okay? We're going to put this these two gnomes together. You have a Mr. and Mrs. this year. And we are going to um, paint them and then interchange the pieces. So every month you will get a set of two hats to slide in and out, and you will have different accessories to slide in and out, okay? Then there will also be a middle accessory that will sit in the middle slot um, as another piece. So those pieces will be part of part two of our video. Part one is just assembling our gnomes so that we're ready for the interchangeables. Okay, in your part one kit, you will have the base of the girl. You will have her dress, her hair, so it'll be two separate um, braids or two separate sides of her hair. And then this is very important for both the girl and the boy, you will have a nose with a cutout slat right there. That's for your interchangeable hats to fit in and out. So they're gonna slide in and out like this. So your nose, see the etch mark? That's where we're gonna glue the nose down, okay? And then the hat is gonna slide in and out right there, okay? This is also very important. She does not have shoes, so you'll be painting her shoes here. But then you will have eight, um, eight of these little pieces that kind of, I don't know, look like U's or something. You wanna match them up, which I did not do on this one, but you'll wanna match them up. Okay, we're going to glue them together. And then once you've glued down her hair and her dress, you're going to glue them where the etched marks are. And then you will glue the hands over the top. And we're going to do that same thing for him over here. Okay, so he will have the same pieces. He will have four, two and two of those little pieces. He'll have two hands just like she does. He does have shoes, okay? But you're going to paint those. You're going to glue these on. These are not going to be interchangeable. Um, and then he will have his nose. So everything you see here, currently on the screen, everything right here is part one of the video. We're going to paint this and then we'll move into part two. You will want to pick colors that are neutral that you can use all year with all of the holidays and seasons that are coming up. I'm going to go with this darker gray blue um, for their outfits because it's neutral for my house and then I can interchange all year long. So pick out your colors and let's get painting. My nose both nose, both hands. Okay, and I'm gonna put those together because I'm gonna paint those all the same color. I'm gonna take all these little pieces, I'm gonna set them aside so I can glue them together before I glue them on here. And then I'm going to take their outfits and I'm gonna put those together because I am gonna paint them the same color. Um, and then I will leave the hair. I will have to figure those pieces out. Um, and then his beard. So these are all the pieces that I'm painting. Oh, and I forgot. I am painting her feet. Don't paint these um, these pieces right here. This is how it's going to stick into the base. Um, you don't need to paint them. If you do, that's okay, but you don't need to paint those pieces. All right, so I'm gonna get started painting. You get started painting. Um, you can use a sponge if you want. Less is more. You don't need to paint on the edges because the edges are paint, um, lasered so they are dark clean edge already so you can just grab some paint grab your sponge and start painting
All right, DIYers, once everything is painted, um, you've glued together your pieces. Now it's really important, whoops, that these spacer pieces um, are glued together so they're matching because that's what's going to hold your interchangeable pieces in each month. And you wanna make sure those are ready to go. So I'm gonna start with the Mr. Gnome. And I'm just going to start assembling him and putting him together. Remember, this is just part one of the two parts for this month. Um, next month, your box will just include the interchangeable pieces. So every month you will get the interchangeable pieces, which we will go over in part two. Okay, so we're just going to start assembling. Important thing here is that you keep his boots up off the, the edge right here because that's your insert. Okay, you don't wanna go too low. I'm just gonna spread some glue right here knowing that this is his outfit. And you wanna just, my glue is squirting. So you wanna just line this up, okay? And then while it's still wet, I like to just get some more glue on here and then put the beard on since that is the next piece. Um, and if possible, keep the glue from squirting all over. Okay. You also don't want to get glue up top because that's your interchanging spot. Okay, and I'm lining up. Right now I'm looking on my edges and I'm lining up my beard to make sure that's where it needs to be. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and dry. Um, so I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna grab my, my Mrs. Gnome, my girl gnome, and I am going to squeeze out as much glue as I can, and I'm going to repeat the process with her. Uh, and you'll notice I'm just putting globs of glue everywhere because I'm gonna lay it all down at the same time, hair and her dress. I will let these sit and set the glue set because I don't want any shifting, and then I will do their hands. Okay, while everything is sitting here getting ready um, for the next step, I'm gonna lay these pieces out, the spacer pieces, and you really want them to match. So this might take a minute or two, but you wanna make sure that this spacer piece and this spacer piece fit the way they're supposed to. So look at the engraved line setting and then place them in there. And then I would recommend putting glue on the gnome and then laying your pieces down over them, letting these set in the glue and then we will put our hands over the top so that they will be a completed look. You can also do the nose. Remember, do not get any glue up in these slots. That's your interchangeable spot. So just put your glue here and you should be good to go with that. All right, DIYers, this is step one. I'm going to let these sit to dry before I start step two. So part one, just a recap, you have your base. There was two separate pieces, glue them together. Make sure that the, the slots are lined up because these are going to be where your, your Mr. and Mrs. stand. This slot is for the other interchangeable that's coming in our part two of this video. So this is part one, this is your base. You're going to have these all year long and then you will have pieces that interchange in their hands every month, along with a middle piece that interchanges every month. So we will start part two right after these dry. All right, here is part two. So for part two, what you will generally see in your gnome box are the hats. This is the interchangeable for the center piece. So there's gonna be multiple pieces here, but each month this will be different. Their hats will be different. The center interchangeable will be different. Um, and then what they hold will be different. What they are holding here is she's holding a monogram. So you, I asked for your the letter you would like on here. Um, so there's a letter for that. So this 
is the monogram that we're going to put in there and then party of and then whatever number you requested. Now, if you don't want, oh, I am so sorry. Here we go. Party of will go in here. Now, if you don't want it to say party of, let's just flip it around and make it something else, okay? Um, so you don't have to have it like that. So you'll have your letter and you will have your number that will go on these two pieces. You can paint these however you'd like. You'll see that the door comes off, the window comes off, um, the mushroom and the underside is a piece. The flower overlays, the, the greenery overlays, and this overlays. So all of this is multi-layered and this will all come each month for your gnome. To get started painting, I'm gonna just paint all my pieces, then we'll come back and we'll glue them all back together. Okay, DIYers, I finished painting. Got a lot of colors brewing here, but I finished painting and I glued my pieces together. The only thing I did not paint um, was my party of four. I don't have my four, but when I get my four, I will paint it up and that will be ready to go. So what you wanna do is have everything dry and then all of your pieces are going to fit in the slots to be held by the characters or by the gnomes, I guess. They're kind of characters. Okay, so I'll do a video where they're standing and you can see, but these are all painted and ready to go. I hope you're as excited as I am to see the completed look.